Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you a very interesting trap which you will love to try on your opponents. This trap is known as the Haloset trap. So let's begin. White goes e4, black responds with d5, and white plays with move e4, offering a free pawn on the second move itself. Black happily accepts it, and white here plays knight c3, putting pressure on this e4 pawn. And here black has three choices to protecting this pawn. Bishop f5, f5 and knight f6. Sorry, bishop f5, protect, at, uh, protecting this pawn. f5 doesn't make much sense because I can go bishop c4 and bring in my pieces, making your king side weak and also eyeing on it. Bishop f5 also doesn't make much sense because you're putting the bishop behind the pawn which is on the same color, deactivating their bishop. So the most obvious and common reply from black will be knight f6. And here white goes f3, offering an exchange of pawns and black happily accepts it. And here white usually goes knight into f3, but here white plays this move into f3 and here white is offering black a free pawn and black again happily accepts it so what was the idea behind offering this free pawn to black it was the idea was to bring a rook on this d5 and putting pressure on this lonely king by bringing all our pieces in the game so what will be the best way to start an attack? B3. Yes, this is the move. Attacking the queen, also preparing to bring this to rook. And if the queen moves from this file, we can even long castle. That's what black does. He goes queen before allowing us to go long castle. And then plays this move, bishop g4. If you think white is losing here, then don't forget to check out the next move because you're going to be stunned from by the next move of white. Before having a look at the next move of white, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then do so. And if you're enjoying the video, don't forget to click that thumbs up button so that I get motivation and I bring such more chess tricks and traps to you in my next videos. So, are you ready to check out the next move of white? Yes, it is knight d5. Very stunning move, attacking the c7 pawn. And if black takes this queen, knight into c7 is a brutal mate in one. So, what can black do else? If black tries to go queen into b5, the problem with this is bishop into b5 is with a check. And you have to block it with a move. And I just move my queen to the side and white just completely win it. Also, black can try this move e5, but the problem is I don't do c7, king e7. And here white plays a stunning move, queen into b7, offering a free pawn to black. And after, I mean queen to black, and after black takes this queen, bishop c5 is a brutal mating one. So what else can black do? The most sensible move in this position will be to go knight a6. And what we have done with this move knight b5 is that we have blocked this path for the queen to protecting that b7 pawn. So white can simply chop off this pawn on b7. And if black goes for a random move like a6, point being I have knight into c7 which is a idea because they are forced to take and the queen is hanging. But the main threat in the position is to go queen into a8 and after you block with the knight I am just mating you. So you have to do something of that rook. What can you do? If you go rook b8 this is not at all a good idea because you are going to be mated in just two moves. With the stunning move queen into beard, 
Knight takes a knight into c7 is a brutal checkmate. So what else can black play? Maybe rook c8 is an option, but you have queen into a6. And uh, if you try to go bishop into d1, then queen into c8 checkmate, that is not possible. So probably, uh, queen, uh, sorry, the uh, rook c8. What can black do here? Uh, there are not many choices because this knight is hanging and after I chop off it, black has to do something but this rook is hanging so there are not many choices but um, that and white is just completely winning in this position so that's why a uh, move that is a sensible move will be queen e4 in this position and after I takes this knight, if you try to take this rook, then I'm just simply taking and after rook d check, I'm blocking with my bishop and white is completely winning here. So black has to take the bishop on e3, which and it's a check. White slides over the king and if you try to take the rook with the bishop, then queen c6 check, king d8, queen c7, king e8 knight d6 check e into d6 bishop b5 knight d7 and queen into d7 is a brutal checkmate so obviously you cannot move your king to d8 so you have to block with the knight and here white simply chop off this rook knight d8 i simply take and black is completely winning here so black cannot take this Rook, then what else shall he do? There are not many choices, but black has this nice move queen c5, and this is a move worth trying. But here, white plays this amazing move queen b7, attacking the rook and also putting pressure on the c7 pawn. And here, black chops off this rook on d1. Threatening queen into c2, and then after the king moves to a1, queen c1 will be a brutal checkmate. So that's why y simply brings or uh, uh, takes the rook with the check, king d7, and brings back the knight to c3, attacking this bishop and also blocking this mate on c2. So let's look at one more variation. After queen b7, if he tries to go rook c8, the problem is knight into a7, attacking this rook, and after bishop into d1, I have queen into c8, checkmate. So obviously you cannot do that. And black has one more move worth trying, which is bishop f5. And after bishop b5 check, bishop d7 or even knight d7 doesn't make a big difference because queen into c8 is checkmate. So you have to, after bishop b5 check, block it with your c6 pawn. And after bishop a4, white is just winning here, protecting this pawn. White has all the pieces are so developed. I can bring my two pieces, which are on the, the knight and the rook also in the game in just two moves and white is completely winning here so let's have a look where black went wrong so this position after queen into d4 bishop e3 queen b4 is a not a very good move probably uh, queen b4 still maintains the advantage for black but after long castle, black should play a very cool move like c6, blocking this knight b5 first, and then can threaten bishop g4. Also, a better move in this position itself, other than queen b4, will be to go queen g4. 
and white has to bring his queen down and and white has to not accept this queen trade offer because already white is two pawns down probably white can develop his pieces and white has to attack because he's two pawns down but black has a slight advantage because he's two pawns up but if white can get that attack white will equalize the game i hope you enjoy this video and you learn this interesting and amazing trap this hello sana trap thanks for watching and if you haven't subscribed to my channel do it right now